a, yeah. a railway, huh? then that's when you take a uh, right. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is another day here in beautiful Tokyo and it's like the end of January, but it's still pretty warm over here. It's probably like 50 degrees of Fahrenheit here, which is so amazing, I mean, like, and comparing it to like Northern Japan, it snows up there and it's really cold, but here in Tokyo, it's not bad at all. And they say it stays here like that for like, Pretty much the whole winter which is nice i don't think they have snow here ever maybe they do but i'm not too sure so we're gonna go on some adventures today uh it should be pretty fun look at that this little building cute little building look at this they park over here but it's like like how do you park right here like it's hard Look, you have to, they're, they're coming from that way and then they have to go in like that and then back up and then they have to park right here, I guess. It's pretty tough. All right, guys, really quick. Uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for all of you that are watching this video and just my channel in general for all your likes, subscriptions and all that. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, because probably a lot of you don't know, but uh, the reason why I'm in Japan is because we're actually uh, on deployment so I'm serving uh, in the US Navy so that's why I'm here uh, and uh, for those of you who actually talked to me privately you guys already know that but the reason why we're here and why I'm visiting Japan and showing you all these places because uh, I have an opportunity like that you know but um, you know like I said we're gonna be on deployment for probably another four months or so and to God knows where we're gonna get sent to maybe Middle East or something like that I'm not sure but uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, just wanted to let you know the reasons why we're here and why we're doing all this and all that, so. Guys, it's just crazy how big Tokyo is. I mean, this is just part of it, but in general, Tokyo is just huge and I love everything about it. Like, everything is so nice and beautiful and clean here. The weather is awesome, so yeah. There's some kids that are going to school now, but it's just beautiful in general. So if you guys ever get a chance to come here, definitely do. It's well worth it. Guys, a really funny thing here is, wow, look at that W210. But the real like funny thing here is that because like in Japan, they have like, uh, like the cars drive like a, the opposite direction from like United States. So, you have to keep left so the same with like pedestrians like usually all the pedestrians have to keep left because otherwise it gets confusing and i just always like keep forgetting about that so as you can see i'm walking on the left side and then there's a person that just passed me he's also walking on the left side because let's say you you're walking on the right side it's going to be so confusing for people so i already messed up a bunch of times but i'm trying to keep left <laughs> This is getting old school as well. See, like, I know, like, some European cars like Fiat and 
and such, but I don't, I don't think I've heard of them. Guys, what's so crazy about uh, Japanese houses and garages is that they're really tight and they're really small and also the driveways as well. I'm gonna show you a couple of places, but it's pretty crazy, like, especially because they have such narrow, like, streets uh, everywhere here, so it's so hard to park, but they still manage to park in, like, really tight spots. It's amazing. I'll show you in a second. For example, here, guys. This is actually not as bad, but still, this is pretty tight spot. A big car would not fit in here. A big American pickup truck would not fit in here. Uh, this is just a small garage. Let's explore a little more. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how, but like, it's pretty crazy how like they manage to park in such tight spots. But I need to, I need to show you guys something else, like a really small like parking space. Maybe this one, maybe not. A lot of them actually park their cars like right here. Spots like this, next to the house. This is a perfect example tight the parking spaces and uh, sure right here oh this is not as bad try to find it some more uh, maybe not too bad there this one guys is very tight very tight and small Who likes 350Zs? This. Alright guys, there's another example. So this is really small, small like carport I guess. And they parked their car here. But the car has to be really small. And it's still gonna be very tight to park. This for example. This is really crazy. This is a very small parking space. So yeah, you can see a lot of things here and there. Pretty unique. Go guys another parking spot and really tight parking spot. 